death toll from that powerful magnitude 7.2 earthquake in Haiti is climbing. These are early numbers. Officials say at least 724 people are dead, 2,800 injured. The quake flattened hundreds of homes and buildings. This is mainly in the southwestern part of that country. Emergency workers are racing to rescue survivors ahead of an expected tropical storm. To help, Boone-based nonprofit Samaritan's Purse is sending supplies down to Haiti. A cargo plane is headed there today, filled with disaster response specialists, shelter material, water filtration units, and 31 tons of emergency relief supplies. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris has more. Well, my heart goes out to the people in Haiti. Ken Isaacs with Samaritan's Purse says hearing of the earthquake rattling Haiti was shocking. My first reaction was, uh, oh, Lord, what's happened? How bad is this? The devastation is one Isaacs was familiar with. We responded to the earthquake there in 2010. I spent uh, 13 weeks on the ground down there. As images came in, Isaacs realized its citizens were facing widespread destruction once again. It just broke my heart and it made us want it to be there and to help and to do all that we could. Isaac says with their prior experience in mind, they knew what Haiti's immediate needs would be and began planning an aid trip. But on this flight today is uh, 13 people on the dark team. They'll have uh, like big duffel bags full of medical equipment and supplies. Isaac says they're also bringing water filtration equipment and temporary shelter. People will not stay in buildings even if they're not damaged when the ground's shaking and they've seen other buildings. There, There's a fear. I've seen this in many, many Earthquake. Isaac says after assessing on the ground, they plan to send a second round of supplies on Tuesday. This is what we do. We respond to help in Jesus name to disasters around the world. So I would ask your viewers to, to pray for Haiti, to pray for us. Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte.